in danger from a car fire, who should be afraid? Have you ever been concerned about your gas-powered car, hybrid car, or electric vehicle, EV, catching on fire? Like what to do if your car or truck ever caught on fire? Maybe if you knew which type of vehicles are most likely to catch on fire, it might influence which car or truck you might choose to buy and drive. Today, we explore the realm of vehicle fires like what are the most common causes? Which types of vehicles are most likely to catch fire? What to do in case your vehicle catches fire? How to prevent vehicle fires? And so on. Welcome to Car Fires and Are You in Danger? Quiz right here on the Go Green Hub channel. Because on this channel, we explore the intricate balance between our natural environment and human activities. Let's get on to the quiz. So here's our first question. Which type of vehicle is most likely to catch fire? A, hybrid cars. B, internal combustion engines, ice vehicles. C, electric vehicles, D, motorcycles. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page so you can choose your answer. You will have 10 seconds to make your selection. Correct answer is A, hybrid cars. According to a study by Auto Insurance EZ, hybrid cars have the worst fire record, while EVs are the least likely type of car to catch fire. The study found that hybrid cars have 3,474.5 fires per 100,000 sales, internal combustion engine ICE cars have 1,529.9 fires per 100,000 sales, and EVs have 25.1 fires per 100,000 sales. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Now, on to number two, our second question. What do you think is a common cause of vehicle fires? Is it A, overinflated tires, B, overheated engine, C, clean windshield wipers, or D, full gas tank? Now choose the correct answer. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page so you can choose your answer. Well, if you said B, overheated engine, you're spot on. Explanation. An overheated engine can ignite nearby flammable materials or leaking fluids, sparking a blaze in your vehicle. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question three, what is the first thing you should do if your vehicle catches fire? A, perform a dance routine. B, take a selfie. C, call 911. D, safely exit the vehicle. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer D, safely exit the vehicle. Explanation, the safety of individuals is paramount in case of a vehicle fire. Exiting the vehicle safely is the first priority. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question four, how can you prevent vehicle fires caused by electrical issues? A, replace all wiring with licorice. B, regularly check the battery voltage. C, install disco lights inside the engine. D, ignore dashboard warning lights. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer, B, regularly check the battery voltage. Explanation, regular maintenance, including checking the battery voltage, can help prevent electrical fires in vehicles. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question five, what should you not do if your vehicle's engine catches fire? A, open the hood and roast marshmallows. B, 
use a fire extinguisher, C, call a magician for help, D, turn off the engine. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer is A, open the hood and roast marshmallows. Explanation, opening the hood can increase airflow to the fire, causing it to spread. It's safer to leave the hood closed. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question six, which of the following is a sign of an overheating engine? A, smoke signals from the exhaust. B, engine playing catchy tunes. C, dashboard warning light for low fuel. D, sweet smell from the engine. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer is D, sweet smell from the engine. Explanation, a sweet smell coming from the engine could indicate a coolant leak, which may lead to overheating and fire. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question seven, what is the primary environmental impact of vehicle fires? A, increased air pollution, B, creation of rainbow clouds, C, flower blossoms everywhere, D, global happiness index rises. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer is A, increased air pollution. Here's the explanation. Vehicle fires release pollutants into the air, contributing to air pollution. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question number eight, what do you think you should do if you suspect a fuel leak in your vehicle? A, spray air freshener to mask the smell. B, sing to the fuel tank to calm it down. C, get the vehicle inspected immediately. D, ignore it and hope it evaporates. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer is C, get the vehicle inspected immediately. Explanation, prompt action is necessary to address potential fuel leaks and prevent fire hazards. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question number nine, which vehicle component should you check regularly to prevent fires? A, cup holder cleanliness. B, seat belt tension. C, engine oil level. D, rear view mirror alignment. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer, C, engine oil level explanation. Checking engine oil regularly helps ensure proper lubrication and reduces the risk of engine fires. Take a moment to relax before we go on to the next question. Question number 10. What is a common cause of vehicle fires in hot climates? A, snowflakes falling from the sky. B, ice cream melting on the dashboard. C, extreme heat. D, polar bears hitching a ride. Take a moment to ponder. Here's the refresher page. Correct answer is C, extreme heat explanation. High temperatures can increase the risk of vehicle fires, especially in hot climates where engine components may overheat. That's it. Uh, that's the end of our 10 question eco facto quiz about vehicle fires. So how did you do? Did you write down your answers on a sheet of paper? If you did keep a record, it would be great if you shared your quiz results in the comments section below. Tell us what you think. We definitely are interested in hearing from our viewers and getting their opinions. 
We truly want to do the right things for the renewable and sustainable community. Don't forget, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to staying safe and avoiding vehicle fires. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning with Go Green Hub's Eco Facto quizzes.